are, be where they are. That's what you want to do. You want to be where they are. For those of you I'm picking and I'm here with you on your Tuesday sales tip to make sure that you are being seen, being heard, being paid well and ensuring ensuring that people know what you do and how you do what you do so that you can close deals, you can open your markets, you can ensure that people are following you and buying from you, which is critically important. So today we're going to be talking specifically about be where they are and showing up. This is such a critical piece of marketing and selling. You know, you can... I know that we've been home for the last almost two years and doing our work online and being visible online, which is fantastic. Fantastic that you're there. And it's also you now preparing for the new year of where are you showing up? Where are you going to be so that you can be where they are? So get ready to hear about being where they are and what you can do to ensure that you're seen and heard. song I get so excited so today we're talking about show up where they are so a lot of people invest in associations and organizations and groups where they're with people who are like them who maybe are selling maybe are there to build camaraderie build a sense of community amongst people who do what they do and that's fantastic it really is it's great and you're in business or you're in sales. And so you need to also show up to where the people, your best clients, your best buyers, your best perfect audience is. And if you show up to where they're at, you can actually grow your business by leaps and bounds faster than Superman and, or let's say Superwoman. And so I wanted to go over to you with some of the tips and tools that you can use to be where they are, because this is critically important for your success. The first thing you have to really know is know where they are. So what associations do they belong to? What organizations do they participate? Where do they hang out? This is information that's really important for you to know so that you can be collaborative and connecting and be able to really communicate with them in the way that they want to be heard. And I'm going to say something really um, important is that you, once you know where they are, you got to know that you're going to invest money with showing up, paying for being present where they are, sh paying for the registration, paying for your attendance, paying for all of that is really important because you're investing in their organization. You're showing up by investing in the support of their organization and their association. And it's really something that they notice, especially board members know, notice, especially people in the most senior leadership notice that you're investing your own treasure to be a part of their organization. And I mean also to invest in being a member of their organization. A lot of people think, oh, if I'm a member of the organization, they'll never hire me. If I'm a paid member of this organization, they're never going to utilize me. Actually, it's a little bit different than that, especially this in day, day and age. If you have invested and paid to be part of the organization, you are elevated in a way because they really do want to showcase 
those members who are successful, who are doing great work, and they really do want to use you and hire you, and they will refer you if you show up. So that's one thing is know where they are. What are the organizations they belong to? And you can do this by asking your favorite customers, what associations do they belong to? Because if you love your favorite customers, your favorite clients, then you want to hang out with them because they know people that they like and they know people in their organization that they like. And so they're going to refer you to them. So ask the question, what organizations, what associations are you involved in? Where do you volunteer? What, how do you get your professional development? Where do you go for your leadership development? What organizations would you recommend I join? Ask the question. When you start asking the questions, you get insight into their world so you can play in their sandbox, which is very, very powerful. The second thing I want to make sure that you know is once you join that association or a part of it, volunteer at the highest level possible. In other words, find the positions at the highest level. And what I mean that is if they're a national or international organization, then participate at the national or international level. Volunteer to be a participant at that highest level and be able to share your wisdom, your ideas, your creativity, your yourself completely to them as a volunteer at the highest level. So when I joined SHRM, I volunteered to be at the national level of diversity and inclusion, specifically focusing on areas of women, Hispanics and military. And I was on that board for that group for four or five years, which led me to being referred to in for newspaper articles and interviews. It led me to get known to some of the biggest corporations, which actually hired me inside their companies and to bring me in. It enables you to get seen and heard at a very high level. So definitely volunteer at the highest level possible within that organization. And then also be visible. And when I mean be visible is uh, at, Offer to be on panels, offer to do a program for them, offer to write an article for them, offer to um, support them in any way possible so that they see you as a support, as a team player, as somebody that they want to do work with. Really important for you to volunteer at the highest level and be visible. I want you to manage your expectations. Your investment of yourself, of your talents, of your dollars is going to take a little bit of time before you reap what you sow. You have to give first. You really have to give and honor them and support them and be a part of the team before you receive the results that you really want. So be patient and be involved and be engaged and show up that's the best way for people to know who you are what you do and how you do what you do because you are going to play at a level of excellence at everything you do and they're going to feel you really know you really want to be aligned with you because you're giving your best your best your best so give give before you receive really important you have to be, I, I encourage you to be extremely clear about who you are. So what do you believe? What do you stand for? What is your business? Who do you serve? How do you sell? And what you can do. You have to be so clear about who you are and what you do so that in very short spurts, you're able to communicate the results you have in one conversation, you're able to express what you do in another conversation. You're able to share how you do what you do in a different kind of conversation. So the more clear you are, the more focused you are, the more you have a great tagline, the more that you are able to communicate your expertise and your interactions, the better it is for you, the better is it, it is for everybody to refer to you, the better it is for everybody to have a sense of how strong you are in your area of expertise. 
but you really have to be clear about who you are and what you can do. This is vital. Too often I bump into people who sound desperate, sound um, intense, and because it's all about them. Can I sell you? Can I sell you? Let me tell you about my words. Let's make an appointment. Let's kind of call. Let's kind of do. You want to ask questions and really learn about them. You really want to ask questions and learn about them. Learn what they do. Learn about their families. Learn about what they believe about your area of expertise. You want to be able to really ask questions so that you're knowledgeable. The more you're involved in the association, the more you can ask questions questions, the more you can understand their needs, the better it is for you to really get a uh, a level of expertise about them that you can then over time share solutions to the problems and give them insights and really help them be their highest and best. But the way to do that is by you learning about them and asking questions about them at their events, at your meetings, when you're at a reception, just be interested, do the research, find out about them. The more you can do that, the more you can deliver for them solutions that actually work for their lives, not stuff that you've just pulled out of thin air. And then finally, the most important thing that I know about once you've been involved, once you've been engaged and once you've done that is to follow up, follow up, follow up. And you would think that I'd be fantastic at this, but I'm not. I really, really have to have a system in place so that I can follow up to everybody that I met. I told you last time about how I use coffee beans to keep track of who I'm going to call. Well, I also use my cell phone. And one of the things that I do is I take pictures when I've been at an event where that I'm participating in and you know I'll take pictures of their name their name cards so I remember uh, and I'll say can I take a picture of your name card because I want to remember who I spoke to I want to remember who I engaged with and I remember I want to remember who I promised to reach out to because God, you meet so many people that you actually forget who you met and you forget who they are. I used to have collect their business cards and write it. But now with COVID, one of the things that I found that was interesting is everybody's not back in the groove of knowing, you know, to have business cards and to carry them and have a place for notes. And that's really important that we get back into the groove. Actually, I'm going to be ordering new business cards so that I can be in groove and always make sure on your business cards at the back of it, you have a place for notes so that if I'm giving you my card, you can write a note about me or about what you would want to do or something that's really important and really good. So I just wanted to let you know about that. So let me go back to the things about showing up where they are. So you want to show up where they are. You want to know where they are and participate. You want to volunteer at the highest levels and be visible. You want to make sure that you give before you receive. You want to make sure that you're clear about what who you are and what you do so you could talk to them. Always, always ask questions and learn about them. And of course, follow up, follow up, follow up. I hope you all join the Power Women Elite. I love these women. They're connected, they're determined, they're successful, they're brilliant. And we meet every Tuesday two times. Well, one is at 12, one is at at, uh, 6 p.m. And we talk about business. We make sure that you're prosperous. I make sure that you have a way to connect with each other and you invest in yourself to grow yourself, grow your business and grow your life. My name is Pegeen, and I'm so happy that you are here. I look forward to talking to you, and you'll learn a little bit about me now.